from NBC News. This is Today. Plus the mommy makeover. You can get your pre-baby body back with just a few nips and dots. Few? I think I'm going in right after her. After your local news. We're back on this Fundy with more of today in our special series we're calling Life Changers. Yeah, it is no secret having a baby certainly takes a toll on your body, but how far would you go to get that body back? Far. Well, we found <laughs> one woman brave enough to undergo a big life change, and we went along for the ride. My name is Fatima Rice, and I'm 36 years old. I'm a single mom with a five-year-old daughter. I love being a mom. I'm very grateful to God for giving me Kyla. She's like my inspiration. I put more time into her than myself. Before pregnancy, I was very fit. I worked out a lot. I did kickboxing. I've done a lot of cardio, running. Obviously, I had more time on my hands. I gained about 48 pounds while I was pregnant. My body changed dramatically. After the breastfeeding, my breasts uh, became saggy and my stomach obviously was saggy after I lost all the weight. There's this stubborn fat that just won't go away. I do cardio, I swim, and nothing is just helping out. This is a very common scenario for young mothers. The breasts have dropped a bit with pregnancy. The skin gets stretched a bit. The muscles of the tummy get stretched a bit. It bothers you mentally that, you know, that it's, it seems like you're doing everything in your power and you take off your clothes in front of the mirror and it just doesn't look that great. My confidence level went down. I'm getting a mommy makeover. I'm trying to get back to what I used to look like, how I used to be and how I used to feel about myself. The goal of our surgery today is to tighten the muscles of the tummy, remove some of the fatty tissue of the lower part of her tummy, and to bring her breasts back to an appearance more similar to the way they were prior to her pregnancy. Fatma's in great shape. She's an excellent candidate. And if she continues with her program of diet and exercise, she'll have great results. I'm ready to start 2011 in a new beautiful body. I can't wait to see her. I know. OK, so here's Fatima's before picture, OK, just so we can take a peek. All right, let's see the new you. Come on out, Fatma. Oh, my god. Oh Hello. Wow. Hi, my skinny. Hello. And this is only two weeks after yes. surgery. Come, Come on over. Come and sit, sit it down, down Fatma. <laughs> and also here with us is your good doctor, Lauren yes. Schechter. He's a member of the American Society of Plastic Surgeons. His practice is in Chicago. So Hi. Is, it's, is it rare for her to look this good so soon yes, after we're surgery? Totally shocked. Because usually aren't you incredibly swollen and stuff? Well, Fatma is a great candidate mm -hmm. for the procedure. As you saw in the segment, she's very healthy. She works out. She's got a healthy lifestyle. So for her, this is really about jump-starting her routine and getting her back, <laughs> uh, getting her back in that workout regimen. Well, it sounded like you were doing everything: the swimming, the cardio, and nothing was working. Were you at all nervous to undergo? I guess it's really three procedures: lipo, a tummy tuck, and uh, lifting your breasts. Were you nervous to do it all at once? You know what? At first, I was very nervous, yeah. um, but actually, the day of the procedure I was actually in peace you were you're yes, peaceful about yes it. Um, maybe because mentally I did prepare myself uh -huh. um, and uh, yes I was how in soon peace. after the baby did you have this surgery when did you have your baby um, she actually turned five yesterday oh, she okay, turned five. so you tried for five years to get that body yes, back yes yeah. yeah when is the right when is, is it ever too soon doctor to or go and in, in my case too, too late, late. <laughs> <laughs> well we do advise women to wait until the changes associated with pregnancy are resolved. So usually at least six months, if not a bit longer, so that swelling from pregnancy can come down, uh, the breasts can return to their normal shape and size. And what about the cost of something like this? So it depends exactly on what's done, but somewhere between about ten to twelve thousand dollars. Depending where you live, to it, it's different. And of course, depending on the area. Yeah. Okay. And so you would recommend this highly to anybody that has that same problem. Yes, absolutely. And what about when you talk about the healing process? Because when you have extensive surgery like that, um, 
you, you seem like you bounced back so quickly. I well, didn't say bounce to a woman who just <laughs> had dinner. <laughs> Careful. Bad word. <laughs> so, so how has the recovery process been? Actually, it's been, it's been amazing. Um, I was able to care for my daughter um, right after six days. Uh -huh. wow. um, first, first three to four days, um, obviously you're in pain just like in after any surgery. Any yeah. surgery, yeah. yes. But, uh, um, but I was, I was fine yeah. after six days. What are the risks, doctor? Because it seems like when you look at FAPMA, everyone wants to do it. It looks like if you have the money, why not do it? But what are the risks involved in sure. something like well, that? Well, it's important to realize that cosmetic surgery is still real surgery and mm -hmm. something to be taken seriously. We do combine procedures, so oftentimes on the breast and on the abdomen, and there are advantages to that, like shortening the overall recovery time, less time away from work or recreational right. activities. Uh -huh. But there are risks because the individual operation may be longer, the recovery time may be longer. So it's important to ask questions, speak with your physician, uh, because not everyone is a candidate to combine procedures. And anytime you're put under anesthesia, there's a risk involved. And, yes. and some people aren't like Fatma, they don't work out constantly. They just want to have, they have the baby and they just they so forget instant, it, just instant. do it right away. Do you recommend it for people who aren't as diligent as, as she is? Well, it's really a, an adjunct to a healthy lifestyle. Yeah. So we recommend that this be done in conjunction with eating right, working out, and if a woman adheres to that, the results are long lasting. Do you feel so good? Oh, I feel Come fantastic. on. And you still have some bandages, right? Fantastic. Oh, oh. You look awesome. You We're better be so careful. You're going to get pregnant again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, coming up tomorrow. Great to see you. Thank, Thank you for sharing you. Thanks your story. a lot. Thank All you, right, Doctor. Our series is going to continue.